Um, I see you got some of the Sevens boys in the squad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a few of them, uh, and some of them will go on to Hong Kong at the end. Um, some will, you know, stay right through. Um, and we're gonna, you know, we'll watch their workload. Is it difficult to get rugby players in Canada? Is it difficult to get rugby players? Well, it's getting, it, you know, I mean, certainly the game has grown leaps and bounds to the point where, you know, um, we now have probably twice the amount of players that we had mm -hmm. 10 years ago. It's growing huge in the schools. Women's rugby is the fastest growing sport in Canada. And um, I think, you know, having uh, a shot at the Olympic tournament has, you know, drawn more attention to the game as well. Um, for your first game, you guys are going against the Japanese, basically an unknown Japanese side. Um, how are you guys looking at this game? Well, you know, I mean, the, the first game of any tournament, you, you know, there's no context really to put it in. You don't know what the other teams have and don't have. We're, we're more concerned with our preparation, our build-up, imposing our style of play, and, and you know, playing playing well than, than, than what the opposition does. But this, this, this is basically a test to see how well the players are, I mean, are playing together, the, the chemistry between the players. Yeah, I mean, you know, as with any first tournament game, it's there's a lot of unknowns, but uh, we're just concentrating on our own prep. Um, would this be the core of the team that would be going to the World Cup? I, I wouldn't say the core. I mean, I, you know, we're looking at, at lots of options. There are a number of players in this team who will go to the World Cup, yes. What that number is, I, I couldn't say right now. This tournament will have a lot to do. So you, you guys have players who are abroad as well, I mean, playing in Europe and... Yeah, we have a couple, yeah. Mm -hmm. Phil McKenzie from Sale Sharks. Uh, but I believe he's here as well. He's here, yeah. Phil Mack. <laughs> yeah, Phil McKenzie. No, not Phil Mack, Phil Both McKenzie. Two Phil different people. Two different people. Yeah. He's not the seventh guy, is he? No. no. Phil McKenzie mm -hmm. is a winger fr who, from Ontario who plays for Sale Sharks. Mm -hmm. Phil Mack is a scrum half who's our seventh guy. He's injured. So he's injured. Uh, Phil, Phil Mack was quite uh, instrumental in the last, uh, I think it was the Pacific uh, Nations, I'm uh, sorry. Two years ago in Ottawa, yes. I managed that game as well. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good that, game. That, that was a good game, a close game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exciting. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> Aged a few years. <laughs> Has will the heat affect your team? You know, I mean, we do play in the heat because we play in the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in places like Saskatchewan and Ontario, we get these kind of temperatures in the summer. It's just it's been a while since we've been exposed to them. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody has to play in the heat the same. So, we're well, not you, you guys are playing at one. Yeah. That will be probably the most, hottest, I mean, yeah. the, the hottest mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, you know, both teams have to play in it. Um, we have played in heat like that before. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just a, another challenge for us, and there's no excuse. And what sort of rugby is uh, looking to play? Well, you know, we've been trying in Canada for the last few years to, to expand our game. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, without saying too much, I think uh, we're going to try and play attractive rugby. How so? I mean, for uh, concentration, well, I, you more, know, more forward base. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think that, I, you know, I, I think that we'll probably move the ball more than people expect us to. Any special players we should keep an eye out for? Uh, you know, listen, there's a lot of good players out there. This is a chance for guys to put their hand up for a World Cup spot, and I think you'll see a lot of commitment.